good morning and welcome to the first topic of the science part 1 gravitation very interesting chapter very easy to understand and easy to compute examples regarding gravitation we know that force is required to change the shape of object to change size of object to move object to stop object these are the uses of forces here we are going to consider one force gravitational force as we know there are many forces like muscular force electrostatic force frictional force here is one force gravitational force gravitational force is a universal force and it acts not only between two objects on the earth but also between two objects in the universe what is the meaning of this definition of gravitational force suppose these are the two objects having masses m1 and m2 then there is a gravitational force between them which acts not only on earth suppose this is the earth and these are the two objects but also in the universe this is the universe in universe there are galaxies many solar systems planets many suns in between them also between any two objects there is a gravitational force this phenomena of gravitation is a discovered by newton isaac newton since childhood we know that the story of apple which falls on earth from tree of apple what is that story once upon a time newton was sitting on the ground which has apple tree and apple falls vertically downwards towards the center of earth this is the ground and this is the center of the earth the force on an apple on a tree is towards center of earth what is meant by this it means along the perpendicular direction from the position of apple to the surface of earth gravitational force between this apple and earth shows here in this diagram in this way also we can compare this system for earth and moon when we replace apple as a moon and earth apple attracts towards earth also we know that earth attracts towards apple but we cannot realize this is the gravitational force in moon and earth there is also gravitational force and which attracts with each other this force motion these concepts are discussed in last standards by newton's first law of motion second law of motion third law of motion newton develop this theory also newton has given laws of motions as well as equations of motions we know that that kinetic equations of motions as well as theory of gravity 
थ्योरी ऑफ ग्रेविटी ऑल्सो न्यूटन डिस्कवर्ड दैट और ही is able to construct a reflective micro telescope which he will be used in astronomical science this is the first article of the chapter that is gravitational force here again we revise it there are many uses of forces types of forces we consider gravitational force it acts between two objects on earth as well as it acts between any two objects in the universe and if it acts on this earth it is vertically downward direction and towards center of earth as well as newton's biography represent this is the contribution by newton to this science next article from the chapter that is circular motion and centripetal force circular motion the motion when we tie a string with stone and if it moves along a circle then this stone moves around circle and we are pulling the stone towards center of that circle and are applying a force towards it why what will happen when stone is released then at that certain moment direction of stone is in this way or suppose this is the plus in this way what is this this is nothing but stone will fly off along the straight line and which is the tangent to the circle which is the tangent to the circle here a force acts on any object force acts on any object moving along the circle moving along the circle and is directed towards center of the circle and this is called centripetal force this is called centripetal force centripetal force means center seeking force that is object tries to go forward the center of the circle because of this force this is the centripetal force let us see on next time next video regarding next article known as kepler's laws okay